So some of you may not know this, but in a previous life, I used to be an undercover narcotics detective. So this is an issue that hits really close to home for me. In fact, this year uh, in the Senate, I carried a bill uh, with regard to opioids and trying to curb that. We've got a two-pronged problem here. We've got to address the addiction side, and we also have to address the supplier side. Uh, and there's big money engaged in this. That's, that's the big hard lift that we have to get past to some of the pharmaceutical companies and some of the insurance companies' willingness to bend on some of these things. We've got to stop these docs in a box that just run out all these scripts. So we've got to tighten that up. And the, probably the bigger challenge that we have now is how do we curb and rehab the people that are addicted to these things? That's, that's the biggest challenge because let me tell you something. Heroin is horrible, and it affects every person in every neighborhood regardless of social economic class, race, color, or creed. It's a disease that is sweeping our nation, and young people, millennials, are dying in the droves. But it's going to take community engagement as well. And we've got to lift the stereotype off of these things and, and, and kind of keep them at home, and nobody wants to know about them. We've got to go after this stuff, like we went after polio and all the other diseases. We've got to marshal our forces and put every amount of effort on it, or we're going to lose a generation. That's how bad this is. It's horrible. We've got to focus everything we have to stop the opioid crisis. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Well, I've got 40,000 miles on the RV out there in Mille Yellow, and as we've been taking it around the state, there isn't one locality that I've been to that hasn't named that as probably the most important issue that we're facing in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Opioid addiction is really impacting all of us, and honestly, we probably all is someone that has been inflicted, is inflicted, someone in the community that, uh, that is having issues today. And that opioid addiction has gone down into heroin addiction as well. And it's, it's the soccer moms. This is no longer what someone may stereotype the typical user of these types of drugs. But what we have to stop doing is thinking Richmond has all the answers. Same thing with education with y'all. You see, we're in Richmond and we all have different backgrounds, but we're not the stakeholders all the time. We're not the guys on the ground 24-7 like the sheriffs and the police officers and the doctors and the hospitals. We're not the ones that see it on the ground floor day in and day out. So if you want to solve a problem, you prioritize the problem. And you prioritize it by inviting the stakeholders around the table and having that committee come together and share their thoughts, share their ideas. And out of that brain trust come some ideas. And then you work hard, you get them implemented, but it doesn't stop there. Because you see, sometimes in Richmond, people have it saying, we've solved it, we've passed the law, we've passed the bill, we're good, let's move on. But they don't track what really happened afterwards. Do we truly solve, do we truly have the impacts that we expected to have? And if we didn't, let's modify it. I think that's how we need to 